Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing another custom stop strategy within ATM strategies, the auto trail functionality, which is a powerful feature the Ninja Trader offers out of the box. We'll go over how to set it up, what its capabilities are, and also some of its limitations. And then we'll look at QTN and how we can configure an auto trail quick action that is exponentially more flexible than the standard auto trail functionality. So let's check it out. All right, for the custom stop strategy, we're going to open up ATM3 configured in a previous video and go back to our stop strategy option. We'll define the stop strategy on target number one, click custom. And today we're looking at auto trail. Auto trail offers us anywhere from one to three steps. A step is a way to define a rule for where to move your stop loss based on a profit trigger. The profit trigger is going to wait until our position gains this amount of profit that will trigger off and move the stop loss back from the current price, the specified number of ticks. It can be a little confusing. This does not mean break even plus an offset. What this means is how many ticks back from the current price do you want to lock in? The reason you would use multiple steps is to tighten up your stop loss as you gain more profit. For our example, when I get two ticks of profit, five ticks of profit, and 10 ticks of profit, I'm gonna trigger each step. Now I need to define where I want my stop loss to go. For step one, 10 ticks back. For step two, five ticks back. And for step three, two ticks back. So in essence, when I have two ticks of profit, I want the stop loss to be 10 ticks behind me, eight ticks below my entry price. At five ticks of profit, five ticks behind me, so a break even. And at 10 ticks of profit, two ticks behind me, eight ticks of profit. The next column is frequency. This tells the strategy how often it should be triggering your stop loss order to move. If you leave it at one, every tick will continue to lock in another tick of profit until it moves to the next step. So I'll change this to three ticks for the first step, two ticks for the second step, and one tick for the third step. That way, as we get to our third step, with each tick, we're going to be locking in more profit. I'll save this as a template, stop strategy two, and save ATM three with the new stop strategy. Okay, let's see how this works. Order filled. What we should see is at two ticks of profit, we should see our stop loss move to eight ticks below our entry price. When we get to five ticks of profit, we should see it move to break even. And every two ticks, we should see it move up until we get to 10 ticks of profit, at which point it will move two ticks behind the current price. And from there on, it will continue to lock in an additional tick every time the market ticks up. So you can see how that works in allowing you to lock in your profits as your position moves in your favor. But as with the auto break even, sometimes using a profit trigger is not necessarily the most ideal way to auto trail your position. So what I wanna show with QTN is an auto trail defined on market structure or your actual highs and lows. I have the quick action already defined as a button and I'm going to allow this to auto trail my position, if I'm in a long position, it will trail behind the lowest. If I'm in a short position, it will trail behind the highest and it will look for 10 bars back. I want to look at the highest or lowest bar of the previous 10 bars. And depending on short or long, I want to place my stop loss at the high or the low. I have an option to do offset ticks, but just so that we can clearly see it, I want to leave it at zero. And now I have a new setting that we haven't talked about previously, which is auto trigger. This is going to be the auto trail functionality, which is going to continue to trigger the quick action with each new bar. We'll check the box modified toward last price only. So that way it doesn't lose any profit that we've already locked in. I've given it a label. And the difference when you have an auto trigger is you have two colors to define. You have to define an on button color and an off button color. The on button color will let me know that the auto trigger is enabled. The off button color will let me know that it has been disabled. Clicking the button will toggle between enabled and disabled. So let's give this a shot. Now when I enter the order, I'm going to enable my trail 10 bar high low. You'll now see the color changes to my enabled color. And with each new bar, we're locking in more profit, but the level that it locks into is based on the actual bar low and not a specific number of ticks from the current price. If I'm in a short order position, filled. same thing applies. You'll notice it stayed enabled. So as soon as the order was filled, it immediately moved to the high of the previous 10 bars, which happened to be the previous bar. And it will stay at that high until we get to our 10th bar that has a lower price level. So now you can see now that we have 10 bars and the price will continue to move to the lowest bar within the previous 10 bars and continue to trail until we disable it. Order filled. One other thing to note as well, the standard auto trail functionality is 
fairly difficult to enable or disable on the fly. However, with QTN, you can enable and disable the auto trigger at any time during the trade so that you stay in control of when to lock in that profit or not. So I hope this helps you understand your options with the auto trail custom stop strategy and I'll give you an example of how you can use QTN to have a more flexible approach to trailing your stop. This was just an example. There are many ways you could configure this, but the key point being that you're in control defining where you want your stop loss to trail and when you want that enabled or disabled. That's it for today. Don't forget to go to our website, which is linked in the description, to download your free trial of Quick Trade Ninja QTN so you can try out these features for yourself. If you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate it if you'd like it and subscribe to receive future videos. We really appreciate that. It helps us reach more traders like you. Thanks again for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.